Hey guys, Shea Bear here. It is about eight minutes after nine. Let's work on the scooter. Okay guys, we've got this piece of line here, fuel line, that broke off of this scooter. Well it came off of the the uh, the fuel filter and uh, when I went to pull it a little tighter to get it onto the filter I broke it off. So it comes from this side and goes over here on this side somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this this piece out, which the whole seat and everything will come off of it, and then we'll get a look at what's inside of it. Okay. Now right down here, that's the filter right there. So it goes on this end, and then right up in here. Let me turn the light on for you. Hey, can you see that? That's where the other end hooks on to. Okay. That's the bottom of the tank. So I won't have to pull the tank. So I just got to come from here to here. And it looks like See that line, how cracked it is? Let me zoom in a little bit here. See how cracked that line is? That's from heat. So, we're going to replace that section too. Alright, we've got our line on up in there. Right there. There's our line. I wanted to show you something on this filter. Now it's it's clean. See there's letters on here. It says flow. Can you see that? With an arrow. See the arrow? It says flow. That means you're going to want the flow to come from the tank into this side. Okay? Now let's get you set down here. And let's get this this line put on here now these lines will shrink after a while too so just give it a twist and keep twisting until it goes all the way up on there now you can also put these lines in uh, in some warm water or set them out in the sun, whatever the case may be, and they'll go on a lot easier. Or you can lub lubricate them. Let's put a little bit of grease on there. And there it goes. And take your clamp and put your clamp on. Kind of working in tight spaces here. There's your clamp. Now, I have some warm water here and I got the other one soaking in some warm water right down here. So that should go on a little bit easier. So let's try to put that end on. Can you guys see that? All right. All right, here we go. So 
like that. Now it goes down, down in there, up underneath the carburetor right here. So, all right, now up under here, uh, I don't know if you can see it, maybe through there. Let me get my finger on it. Right in there, that's where the other line is going to go. So I'm going to try to get you up here where you can see that. I'll just try to hold you here. Let me find a barb. Right there. And then stick this one on. Put your finger up there. You can feel when it's all the way on. And it's all the way on. Give a tug. There it is. And there's the line. Now... I don't have any fuel in here because I got it in the garage. I didn't want fuel all over the place. So, and it won't come out anyhow because it has to pump. There's a fuel pump on here. And that's what this end went to was the fuel pump. Now it's got this line. This line right here. When it's uh, when this thing when you're cranking over or when you're running it, it pulses. It creates a little vacuum, and it goes t -t 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 -t, just like this, and it opens and closes. That's like a little valve in there. It opens and closes, and lets fuel come down into this, into that line, into your carburetor. So that's how that works. Now, I've got to get, I've got to take this off. I don't know what happened to my clamp, my breather tube, and I got to soak it in warm water to get it back up on there, and so my clamp will fit on there. So that's why that's off of there. But uh, that's how you fix that leak. Now I did this video because uh, I'm going to show you how I cut and edit, and yeah, I still 95% of the time, 90% of the time, I still use. Uh, Windows Movie Maker. I know it don't come with with Windows 10 anymore, but I went on online and I found it. Now I use it most of the time on these videos because I don't need any special effects. I don't need to zoom or anything like that. If I got to do anything special, like with the other cameras, when I have to make them full screen because so that way you don't have the black bars, then I'll use uh, I'll use my one of my other editors. But, um, which is, uh, Cyberlink, it's, uh, PowerDirector 16. Um, so it's, it's a good, it's a good editing software, but just for stuff like this, I just use, um, just use Windows Movie Maker. So, I'm going to show you how I cut and edit, and then we'll go from there. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.